I don't really have a particular way to start this, but uh, oh. I'm pretty thirsty. I got beers. Let's drink them. I mean, it's hot. I mean, it's hot in Texas. I know. It's been 100 degrees pretty much on the regular now. Yeah. I mean, you get in your car, it's like 107. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah, you have a dark car, you're just doomed. Mm-hmm. So uh, we thought it'd be uh, good to uh, do a little test. You've been telling me about these modelos, these special flavors, the chaladas. The modelo chaladas. Man, and they, they just... both suck at pronouncing yeah. that, apparently. <laughs> chelada. <laughs> yeah, Michael Chelada. <laughs> but it looks really good. As you see, we got three of the of their four special flavors right there we didn't get the we tried desperately you said they sell out really fast i always see these sold out i think folks are drinking these on their lunch break yeah so we have the uh chalada especial uh-huh. chalada mango y chili yeah chalada l- limon mm-hmm. and sal and you know these are for on the go because these only come in a tall can yeah so it is definitely meant to go so yeah. we, we could not find the tamarindo picante mm-hmm. so do you want to start and want to take some want to take a drink uh, yeah, which one do you want to try first? Uh, I think we got to start with the what I would consider the the classic. The, the classic. The, the special, right? Shalala classic. Yeah, so this one, let's just do a quick little read on this one. This one has uh, so refreshing flavors of tomato, salt, and lime. So this is pretty much like a regular michelada in, in a can. Michelada, yeah. Yeah, in a can. Yeah, that's what it seems like it was. But this could be considered a breakfast beer? I think it's definitely a breakfast beer. This is a good beer when you've had a long night uh feeling feeling a little hungover you're not quite ready for bacon and eggs yeah one of these i think would we'll, do the trick we'll do the trick let's get the pop here yeah good pop yeah that was a good pop all right let's get a pour gates put my mixology degree to work there you go light on the foam. oh yeah light on the foam Dude. i guess these are really good well i mean i think the tomato one is really good if you want to add some more lime to it oh yeah that's a good pour mm-hmm. look at that nice so is that what you said it was like 3.7 in here? 3.2, I believe. 3.2. So they're pretty they're pretty light. You know, like I said, these are for breakfast or your lunch break. Oh yeah, we're good, dude. Yeah. All right. Let's go to I'm gonna bring one over to you. Yeah, our P our intern is on vacation. Yeah. So um we'll bring that over. Yourself. All right, I'll let you get situated over there. All right, so this is what? What is it again? Michelada especial. So this is the regular. Yeah, regular michelada in a can, twenty-four ounce. All right, salut. Here salut. we go. Very tasty. Mm, wow. I didn't. I didn't think I would like this one, but I do. You get the Bloody Mary mm-hmm. flavor like right out of the gate. So yeah. this is definitely. This could be considered a brunch beer, taco lunch beer as well. Yep. I. I, don't, I almost feel like. Yeah, because you can definitely smell the tomato off the top there. I like it when when you smell the beer. It's like we're beer connoisseurs. Oh yeah. I mean these are. I mean honestly, I've never had this one because I thought this one would be a little too tomatoey for me. But it's all right. I think you add a little of your own spice here. Maybe throw a jalapeno in there. Oh, squeeze, we should get yeah. Squeeze some lime a in there. Picante on there because it, it's not. Even though you ha- it has that little bit, this isn't the picante one. But it just says a refreshing flavors. Tomato, salt, and lime. Mm-hmm. But it actually has a really good balance of the tomato and the lime. So yeah. you that's one thing you don't like when you get the micheladas that are that are really heavy on the tomato. Yeah. No, this isn't heavy tomato at all. Yeah. This is really good. Oh yeah. Especial. That is good. Yep. Yeah. Oh man. That's okay. great. Yeah. Let me see if there's any uh, fun facts about that one. Yeah. So they they all come out of Grupo Modelo, right? That's the same brewery that does Pacifico Corona. And Modelo. Yeah. It's the same brewer in, in Mexico. That's out of Mexico. Yeah. They're not like owned by Budweiser or something, right? No, no. They're their own no, thing? This, yeah, they are their own thing. I, I think it's really funny that these only come in tall cans. Yeah. I've, I've been wanting to find some of these in a six pack or something, but all, you, all they got is tall cans in the gas station. The ones they have them on ice right by the cash register. Yeah. <laughs> like we don't want to encourage you to drink in the car, but <laughs> doesn't this look good right now? <laughs> doesn't this sound delicious? Yeah, no, and it is. They did a really good job. All right. You want to try the, try another one? Let's do it. I'm enjoying this one, but yeah, yeah. Let's do more. I don't know. Uh, so let's let's stick with the citrus flavor since we already got the kind of the lime in our blood. Yeah. Uh, chelada, limon, y sal. Okay. Right? So it's just like made with lime, salt. So this one I think we know is gonna be a lock that it's good. 
Oh yeah, right? I mean, I mean, not that, you, that are, wasn't. We weren't sure about that other yeah. one, and it delivered. But like, you, this already has lime salt. You're a lime and salt guy. Yeah, because I, I love sure. lime and salt yeah. on everything. Yeah, no, exactly. Extra lime, extra salt. Mm -hmm. This one might even be good if you get a little jalapeno juice if you wanted to go rogue. For either one, I would say add a little spice and it's um. We do a throwback ponchos ponchos cup. Mm -hmm. Let's do it, man. Raise the flag. Yeah, raise the flag. Good pour. You see that? Excellent pour. Dude, this is like a this is like a food show yeah, we're doing this here. Is, this is really good. This is classy. All right, I'm bring this one over to you. All right. Gracias. <clears throat> I don't think you. I think you're gonna really like. I've had this one before. You I did, think huh? you're gonna really like this one. All right, let me get a. Let me get my cup here. It's hard. I would love to. I. I mean, I totally could drink it out of the can, but the but the mascaras. Makes it a little tough. Yeah, right, we want to see. We want to see the color. Yeah. You see, this one's a little lighter, more lagerish. Doesn't has no like. It's not like it's you're drinking a green beer here. Yeah. But salute. Let's see what we salud. got. Salute. Okay. Oh yeah. That that that. Wow, that's my favorite. That's awesome. That's just so refreshing. I want I want street tacos now. <laughs> I just one hundred percent. If you're looking for that street taco beer, you know, mm -hmm. this this is it. Doesn't this have just so, such a refreshing flavor yeah, to it? Yeah, this tastes like summer. Yeah. This totally tastes like summer. Like, yeah, this would, this is great with food. This is great just, like, when you're super thirsty, you've been working outside or something. Yeah. You've worked up a massive thirst. Oh, this yeah. This goes down like Gatorade. It does. Yeah, like it does. You know? So we had, we had breakfast and the breakfast beer, and now we have the lunch beer. This is lunch break beer. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely. I can see why. Yeah, you totally have this on your lunch break. Yeah. Not to encourage folks to drink at work, but it doesn't smell like beer. No, the the smell is actually. Your boss will never know. <laughs> this could this could be good with a little jalapeno if you want to experiment. Yeah. So it's three point five. It's actually that's only two hundred and fifty two calories. That's <clears throat> yeah. That's low. another thing yeah. I noticed that these are pretty low calorie now. <clears throat> These are 252 calories. These don't have an overbearing sweetness to them. No. Like um you know, like some kind of flavored beverage you might you might have. They're just literally it's like it's Gatorade. Yeah. That went down really. Not that the other one didn't, but that one was just like instant. No, th this is much smoother. All right. Let's just do the trifecta here. Like I said, we we missed it was hard they were sold out of that fourth flavor, Yeah. you know, to that, but we do have one more gelato. It's it's mango and chili, right? Mango and chili. Mango chili. So, See, this is what the others I think have been lacking is a little spice. This yeah. one I think has a little spice in it. All right, let's give this one a good pour. Put it right on the microphone. There we go. Oh, that's like some ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag ASMR, ASMR on this video. <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> oh yeah. Now, this one's got a little bit of an orangey tint, hence. The mango. There you go. It didn't... Uh, man, all right. I'm bringing it over. Thank you. All right. Let me give myself a peer. So here's in while I, while I give this pour here. I mean, that it's a very big... Uh, I noticed south of the border here, there's a lot of times you will put like some kind of spice on your fruit right oh yeah i love that yeah so it's just like it's usually a like a red powder yep it's just hiccup <laughs> it's basically a chi like a chili powder that yeah, you yeah, put yeah. on like your mango or your type fruit so yeah they actually did the job for you on this one so all right let's give it a good smell first oh man dude that smells good mango oh yeah that does smell really i've never taken the time to smell it yeah wow <clears throat> all right all right salute salute Wow. Dude, these beers are all fantastic. This one also only has 258 calories. Let's do the calorie check on this one. <clears throat> because this is tasty. Yeah, that's really, this is, really this tasty. Is, this is tastier than the lime one. Yeah, because it's got a little bit of a sweet, sweet bite to it, right? And some spice underneath. Put the can back on the bricks there. Oh, yeah, let's do that. The calories are actually the same. That's only 278 calories. 278. The 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 carbs on this one is way they are way lower. 
Yeah. There's only 36 grams of, of carbs in here. That's not for, you know, for being a tall can. Yeah. That's really good. That's a 24 ounce beer. So this is technically two beers. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I'm torn on which one's my favorite. I'm really torn. Uh, you know what? I think you had it right. I think these are all for different times of the day. You've got the basic shalada for breakfast. Breakfast. You've got the Street. limoni sal for lunch. Yep. Or your lunch break, however you want to do it. Um, I think the mango chili is for, uh, you know, later in the day. And uh, during like sunset by the pool, maybe. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I think these would be fun to cycle through them. Too bad these don't come in smaller ones. You got to kind of commit to one. You do, yeah. Modelo, why don't you put out a six pack with two of each flavor? Whoa. Come on. <laughs> oh, there you go. I mean, that's a slam dunk right tag there. Tag that. Yeah, just definitely tag that. But these, for by far, I don't like to label something that's considered like a, a season. I think the. The limon and salt and the mango, they definitely scream summer. Yes. These are, they feel like a summer beer where the chalada, the especially, you can have that basically any, that's a brunch beer. Yeah. Like, like that is 100% a brunch beer. I mean, for anybody who wants to drink a beer and don't want to get into like a Bloody Mary, you know, if you don't want to drink the vodka at that time. Yeah. You can drink that especially and get that same a uh, brunch feel yeah 100 percent. so that one doesn't strike me as like summer only beer like the other like those other shallot these other shallots they're they're summer beers yeah i mean i would drink them all year on like there's no reason <laughs> like the the limon and salad like if you have if you're eating a taco i i just i was telling you earlier like i'm not we're not beer snobs but i like to adhere to whatever local tradition is so sure. like if i'm in an irish pu pub i'm going to drink an irish beer if i'm in a german i'm going to drink a german lager where right. i know i keep stressing that it's just like you can you i would want to be eating a taco because this is brewed in mexico i'd want a street taco with this beer yeah a hundred percent yeah and i would be totally happy i think these would go great with uh, any kind of Mex well some kind of grilled meats in a taco yeah no the for sure excellent yeah so yeah, if any time if you're going to like any kind of Mexican place, any Tex-Mex place here in Texas, you would easily drink these. So you're not you're not beholden that they just make you feel like summer, but you can definitely drink these all year all yeah. year round. And I think these are just honestly these are just tasty. Yeah, no, they're delicious. I don't think you're gonna get you know hammered on these. These are not like some of your IPAs that you see these days that are you know eight percent alcohol and really like uh, you know really give you a hard buzz these are very mellow um just just tasty refreshing yeah no that they're, they're all all 3.2 right i think they're all well they're all under four which i think is pretty low yeah we got a three point the lime one is 3.5 the mango chili is 3.2 and then the especial is 3.5 as well yeah so are these going to be around all year long? I don't know. I don't Have know because I think um, they keep introducing more flavors. These got to be popular. I'm telling you, I see these sold out at the gas station all the time. <laughs> you were saying, yeah, that they sell out all the time, that it was hard to even at, get these. At HEB, they sell out. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I think f these are just a grab and grow beer. This is better than grabbing a Coke, you know? This is better than... Oh, one. I would take these over a soda any day. Yeah, take these over a soda any day. And, you know, sometimes you want a beer... And, you know, you don't want to smell like beer. Yeah. These don't smell like beer, kids. No, they're not. They really don't. I mean, they actually, it's really. Now I'm like, switch. I want to try go back to the other ones. Yeah. I know I am. I keep nursing the one I'm just doing here. Let me see. I mean, the lime for sure. The lime is the best thing. Mango chili is a little heftier. Lime is just so refreshing. Yeah. Like, I want you drink, I want to drink this after playing basketball yeah and the thing about with the you know it's hard like when you put salt in your beer yeah you have to be really really careful like you got to know what you're doing yeah to get that right amount and they've actually did a really good job because mm -hmm. i don't I, to be honest i mean i don't really like a whole bunch of salt in my beer right like at all so i think they did a really good job with the spices should we look should we dare look at the sodium content in these what, what what's mm. it gonna say we might as well let the people know. Yeah, Got to be honest. Look. 
All right, so we got 3.5 alcohol, calories 252, 0 grams of fat, 0.75 grams of protein, 20 grams of carb, sodium 780 milligrams, potassium 128 milligrams, and it's vegan approved. It's got the V. <clears throat> yeah. It is vegan approved. I don't really know enough about like the sodium intake to know whether that's high or low. Obviously, there's added sodium in there for the salt. Yeah. So it might be high. But I mean, you're not going to be drinking these all day that I think that it's just like, oh, no, you went really high on your sodium. Fat free, though. Yeah. If you're fasting or something, you have one of these. It'd be pretty satisfying. That is the one thing that it really is like, you know. You get the beer bitters, like if you get certain, especially like here in Austin, you know, you have a lot of craft beer places and, you know, that craft beer where you really taste the hops, you know, where the hop pretty much just like punch you in the throat. Yeah. Where the, all three of these, and I was, again, I was nervous about the, the especial one just because again, I'm not really i I'm not really a bloody Mary guy. Yeah. You know, so I was a little nervous about that. So actually I was really pleasantly surprised how easy that went, that went down. But like the hop count to me, the hop count is so important because too many hops, it, it'll ruin it. It'll just like all these IPAs that are like, Oh my God, all you taste is hops. Yeah. I mean, some people, some people are way into hops. They like, they're like, they brew chunky. Yeah, I oh. want things floating in them. Um, oh, but that for just like you, like it's a. I guess it must be the acid in the lime yeah. that's cutting. You know, cutting enough of that tomato that it's just like you can tell there's tomato juice in there, but not like an unpleasant amount. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'll tell you what. I've already got a new recipe for this. Is I'm back on the uh, especial. Um, add your own vodka to this. Yeah, you could <laughs> add your own vodka. Yeah. in here maybe a little extra lime. And I think you've got a, a, a refreshing cocktail. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can just double down on it, right? Yeah, why not? Because, yeah, I guess if you want more tomato, this one out of all of them for sure would really do well with some kind of like Tabasco or some kind yeah, of Yeah, this like, is probably for the Tabasco fans. Yeah. Recommend this one. Yeah, you can totally put a little bit of Tabasco in there. Yeah. And I think it would go really well. Tabasco and vodka. Add your own. Yeah. It's your own kit. So go check them out before, obviously, they sell out really fast because we had a lot of trouble even finding these three. Yeah. I mean, really good. Good job, Grupo Modelo. Thank you for the refreshing beers, and we're going to enjoy all of these, and we're going to finish these. Brought to you by Modelo Gelato. Yeah, I know. <laughs>